Hi everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Today's recipe is for honey puzzle cookies. This is one very interesting cookie. Not only does it have a pleasantly sweet honey taste, but it's also made into fun puzzle shapes. And most of the ingredients in it you're likely to have on hand. Alright, so let's just get right to the recipe. Start by adding half a cup of unsalted butter to your mixing bowl. Then add half a cup of white sugar. Next, add half a cup of honey. Then mix that together until it's well incorporated. Now then add two teaspoons of baking powder. And add two teaspoons of vanilla. Then mix that together a little bit. And finally, add three cups of flour. Now that's just all-purpose flour. And then mix that in until it forms a dough. So when it forms a soft dough like this, then you take it out of the mixing bowl, place it in a Ziploc bag, and put it in the fridge so that it chills for about an hour. Then take it out of the fridge and cut it into about four pieces. Then take the first piece and shape it with your hands a little bit like this, and spread a little bit of flour on some parchment paper, and put a piece of parchment paper over top, and roll it out away from yourself like this again because you'll need to anchor the parchment paper with your body against the counter. This way it'll stay in place better for you and you'll be able to roll it out easier. You can roll it as thick or as thin as you want, but generally about a quarter of an inch thick because it does rise a little bit. Now then you'll take a sharp knife and cut it into a four inch square. I cut some of them in 4 inches and some of them in 5 inch squares, so you can do whatever size you want actually, but you just want to make sure that your design is centered in the middle nicely. So then once you have your square cut and measured, um, you can put your design in the middle, whatever it might be. I'm using a star for my first one here. So I just take and move the cookie cutter back and forth a little bit so that it is easier to remove the cookie when you're done. Now then take a sharp knife, and this is where you're going to cut your puzzle pieces out like this. So this is kind of fun because you can just cut it wherever you want. You kind of should evenly spread it out a little bit, but it doesn't really matter how you do it. You can cut it on an angle, or you can cut it straight, but um, cut them about the same size. So we're just about done. A couple more spots here and here maybe and yeah I think that looks pretty good. So next you'll take and move the puzzle pieces away from the center so that they can bake without touching each other. You don't want them to stick together. So then preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Meanwhile you'll get out a brush, some sprinkles and some milk. So you'll just be brushing the milk on the areas that you're going to be decorating. So the center one and then just the very edges of your puzzle. By adding milk like this, it will help the sprinkles to stick. So I'm using some multicolored sprinkles for my star. And then I want to use some blue sprinkles along the edge to define the border of the puzzle. Then I'm just going to brush away some of the extra sprinkles so that they don't make a mess when they're baking. So they're on the cookie sheet, on the parchment paper, place them straight in the oven for about seven minutes. And this is what they look like when they're done. It won't be golden on top, just golden a little bit underneath. Sometimes you have to trim the edges a little bit to make it fit, but um, generally it'll fit right together like this. There it is, so isn't that cool? So I'll show you how to make a few other designs as well. So here I'm just doing a Christmas tree and doing the same thing, just cutting around it and making it into a puzzle. You can bake that the same way as we did the star. Or you can remove the Christmas tree from the center and you can bake it and cut it after it's already baked. Sometimes the puzzle pieces will come together a little better if you do it that way, but you'll have the sliced look and not the baked look. But that's just another option. So you can see there's many designs that you can do. 
And with the leftover dough, you can just start making cookies out of it, any shape you like. Because this recipe is very universal, it's a sweet honey cookie that you can make into different shapes or you can actually do the puzzle cookies with them. It's really quite fun to work with. And the dough's not so sweet that you can't put a little frosting on the top and still have it taste really good. So the amount of time that you cook it in the oven and the amount of flour you use depends on how soft the cookie is or how firm. So here are a few ideas that I've come up with, but go ahead, make up your own ideas and have a lot of fun with this. Get a glass of milk or a cup of tea and enjoy a cookie. And until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.